Some of you probably wonder what this man is doing here. He's making a documentary. He's a documentary maker. He's making a very short documentary on me that hopefully will be shown at the Virginia Film Festival. So those of you who are not graduating uh, and who are still here, or even those who have hopes of graduating but still, will still be here, uh, can come and see it. That'll be next November. On the day of the march, the District of Columbia was placed under virtual martial law. President Kennedy ordered the biggest peacetime military buildup in American history. Five military bases on the Capitol's outskirts were bursting with activity, and heavily armed, 4,000 strong task force prepared for de deployment at Fort Myer, Fort Belvoir, Fort Meade, Quantico Marine Base, and the Anacostia Naval Station. 30 helicopters were flown in to provide airlift capacity. At Fort Bragg, North Carolina, 15,000 Special Forces troops were placed on standby. 150 FBI agents were assigned to mingle with the crowds. Missing from this human and mechanical arsenal were police dogs. Washington's 69 police dogs remained in their kennels on the orders of Robert Kennedy to avoid a repetition of the ugly images of Birmingham. And Washington canceled its long-standing policy of allowing white officers to bar black policemen from their squad guards. And the administration stationed an official just off the, at the right of the Lincoln Memorial with a cutoff switch and a record turntable. If militant protesters overran the speaker's platform, the sound feed to the loudspeakers would be cut off and replaced by a recording of Mahalia Jackson singing, He's Got the Whole World in His Hand. 